Hey guys, we are on a date night in Newcastle. We're at a restaurant for Peace and Loaf. They've had quite a few accolades. We're about 45 minutes late for our booking because we were trying to find parking in our hotel. Um, but we've made it. Can't wait to find the food. We've just been given a host of pre-starters, I guess, because they're not our starters. They're very excited about this. This is like pig head something. This is homemade bread with beef dripping whipped cream. And that was something with avocado on it? I'm going to try this first. What's the verdict? Really nice. Crispy, um, moist, mushy. There's a lot of texture going on. Very smoky flavour. That one is... Was it crab? Mm. Mmm. Mmm. This is our starter. There's a soft shell crab with mussels and clams. And then it's in a Thai flavoured uh, broth. So I think there's lemongrass and coconutty sort of flavours. And beautifully presented with some edible flowers. Anything to add? Soft shell crab's got like texture. And the sauce is very Asian and Thai inspired. It's delicious. Make sure you take yourself some bread. Do you need to soak up the sauce? We have been spoiled with another amuse bouche. Basically, like a in between the starter and the main, we have a little uh, treat. So it is bao buns with uh, Chinese vegetables to get us ready for our mains. And for the mains, I've ordered a striped sea bass. I think my dish is very earthy. The miso gives a nice sour taste that goes well with the actual fish. The underlying sauce is quite rich, but it goes really well with the mushrooms and even goes really quite well with the side of triple cooked chips. The whole dish is very earthy and even more so when you combine it with the kimchi kale. It's very Moorish, uh, very delicious and definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10 for me. My dish is not bad overall. I'm just struggling to pinpoint exactly the flavours. I don't think there's any particular overriding flavour. There are, I don't know if you can see, some chicken pieces in here. Personally, I'm not sure if they add anything, but the, the fish is cooked nicely. Goes well with this sort of charred uh, sweet corn. See what Cam thinks of it. The wing dish is actually quite tasty, although it gets a bit repetitive fairly quickly. There is an array of textures going on here. So you've got like the crunchy baby corn. Not quite crunchy, but it's got a bit more bite than the, the softer, normal charred corn that you have on top. The chicken, again, yeah, I get what it means. It doesn't add much. But overall, this is like, I want to say it's Indian meats, Mexican flavors. So a bit tomato -y, a bit sort of a mild Turco-esque vibe. It's generally quite nice, but yeah, it does get a bit repetitive fairly quickly. But I still prefer my dish. I mean, we'll see what Wing has to say about it. She seems to be enjoying it quite a lot. She's not said much since she started eating it. I'll finish on this. For dessert, I've ordered the peach with pecan and honeycomb. Beautifully presented again. Can't wait to try it. Cam's ordered the passion fruit with dark chocolate and popping candies. The peach is really light and refreshing. It's like perfectly ripe. Uh, again, they've gone with the edible flowers. A lot of textures on the plate. Uh, balanced out nicely with the so ice cream, nothing's overly sweet, very refreshing, a nice light end to the meal. So the passion fruit, there's a tangy sourness on the passion fruit seeds. There's also some sort of uh, like curd inside. I don't know if you can see it, which adds a different texture. I really like the contrasting earthy dark chocolate. I think that adds a really nice touch. We finished our meal at Peace and Loaf. It was good. I think overall we enjoyed it. We said we'll give it about a four out of five. They're definitely potential and you can understand why they've received the awards they have. We certainly enjoyed the starters and the desserts um, yeah. a lot more. Yeah, I think I enjoyed my main uh, a yeah. lot. Yeah, I'd give it a good four out of five. There's a lot of food going on because you get a lot of uh, like pre-starters and then you get your little um, pre dinner. Mains. Like a, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of food and some of the portions are quite big. Yeah. Uh, they weren't expecting that. And then we ordered sides on top as well so you can easily share those uh, and it can quickly become like a lot of food but overall really good and still still worth a visit in my opinion and I'll probably come back as well. See you in the next one.
a lot of textures on the plate. There's this sort of moussey, creamy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, we just yeah, we were recording. Sure. Sorry about that. We just got. <laughs> we just got. Um, I think that was the head chef. <laughs> he was intrigued by what we're doing. We we actually can't stop laughing now because I've like probably gone like a tomato red. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, let me finish it off. <laughs>